Hi, this month we've added NextDC to Morgan's key picks. So today I would like to talk to you about NextDC. I'd like to talk specifically on three things. Number one, what NextDC do. Number two, why we think they're a great business. And number three, why we have added them to our high conviction pick now. So number one, what do NextDC do? They're Australia's largest national independent data center company. They build, own and operate very large data centers all around Australia. They've got nine live data centers now, two in Brisbane, two in Sydney, two in Melbourne, two in Perth and one in Canberra. And at the same time, they are building their third data centers in Sydney and Melbourne. What is important here is that NextDC operate at scale and that they are independent. This independence is critical. Businesses and the digital economy are not tied to one supplier. Instead, they choose a number of different suppliers. If you're a business or a government, you might own your own own IT equipment, as well as using cloud computing from the likes of Google, Microsoft, and Amazon, as well as many others. So much like your home entertainment, where you might have an LG TV, a Sony DVD, a Google Chromecast, and probably even a Netflix subscription. Somehow you need to tie all of this together. And if you can't do so, what you're doing is looking at a very expensive black screen. Next DC ties Australia's digital economy together. It's the meeting point where most of the participants in our digital economy share their data. NextDC has 640 partners inside their ecosystem and they have 70 networks or telcos all connecting together. Businesses like Morgan's, we rent co-location space off NextDC and in there we house our own IT systems and processes and at the same time from that facility we can physically connect to the cloud providers like Amazon, Microsoft and Google. So why do we like NextDC? Well, clearly this, this sector has huge structural growth. There's growth in digitization, remote working and learning, and clearly cloud computing. Even to the current state of the world with lockdowns, this has been a growth industry, but the environment in, in which we are all sadly operating now has actually meant growth continues to accelerate for this business. In addition to that, execution from management, including CEO Craig Scroggy, has been exceptional. Craig has overseen this business over the last 10 years grow from a startup to a company that last financial year generated around $100 million of revenue and, sorry, around $200 million of revenue and $100 million of EBITDA. That was last financial year. The execution and the scale that they've put together has created some significant barriers to entry. Next DC builds and supports digital infrastructure. This is important because its earnings are not tied to the overall economic cycle. No matter what happens in the economy, we think NextDC's earnings will continue to grow for at least the next five years. This is partly because of where they operate and partly because they've got a very large amount of megawatts contracted that are not yet billing. The big customers take many years to ramp up to full capacity. This is a long digital infrastructure build out process. So we take that and we add the business as usual sales pipeline. And we think that in the next three or four years, NextDC should be able to comfortably generate $200 million of EBITDA. On top of that, this calendar year, they've issued around 60 megawatts of options. That's a huge amount of sales. It's actually nearly the equivalent of the last nine years of sales in total. They've issued these options to cloud providers uh, given the strong demand there. And more importantly, if those options do get exercised, we could see NextDC potentially generating $300 million of EBITDA in the next four years. It's not many companies in our coverage universe that we look at where we can see earnings doubling or tripling on a five year view, um, and certainly not one we can look at and see a very comfortable path to growth uh, for the long run here. This is a great business. It's run by a passionate CEO and is supported with the huge structural growth of digitization and cloud computing. Thirdly, and finally, why have we added NextDC to our key picks right now? Well, clearly this is a great business with strong structural growth. We were hoping to buy the stock on a bit of a pullback and the current market weakness is actually creating the opportunity we were hoping for. Add to that, we think there's a couple of positive catalysts on the horizon for this stock, hopefully in the next six or 12 months. Uh, number one, we think there's a reasonable chance of a debt refinancing before or around Christmas. They've got $800 million of bonds that we think could be replaced um, with substantially cheaper debt and more debt capacity. And then number two, sales. This company has got a big pipeline. If they converted those options, that is massive for the growth, but also we expect them to continue to 
contract megawatts or, or more customers to take up capacity inside of their data centers. So we're betting both of those things happen in the next 12 months. We are buyers of NextDC. We expect the strong demand for cloud computing and remote working to be a big driver of growth in this business as it is in many businesses. And we think NextDC will continue to benefit from this trend. Thank you.